for a TED Talk. And Trevor Lawrence says he doesn't have a chip on his shoulder. He says he doesn't need football, and this week that has thrown some people for a bit of a loop. Lawrence never said he doesn't want to be great, but the idea that he's got balance in his life, that he's able to compartmentalize, has thrown some in the football world off their balance. And perhaps you've heard things like, oh, the Jags should be a little afraid. Lawrence has heard those things too, so now he's clarifying, saying perhaps you're misreading him. Quote from Twitter, I'm internally motivated. I love football as much as anyone. It is a huge priority in my life, obviously. I'm driven to be the best I can be and to maximize my potential and to win. I have a lot of confidence in my work ethic. I love to grind and to chase my goals. You can ask anyone who's been in my life. That being said, I'm secure in who I am and what I believe. I don't need football to make me feel worthy as a person. I purely love the game and everything that comes with it, the work, the team, the ups and the downs. I'm a firm believer in the fact that there is a plan for my life and I'm called to be the best I can be at whatever I am doing. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Signed, Trevor Lawrence. Good morning now to Jeremy Fowler. The only team that needs to concern themselves with Lawrence and his mindset is the one that's located in Jacksonville. So what are they saying about what all that Lawrence has said this week? Well, Nicole, I asked around on this, and the Jacksonville Jaguars have no issues with Trevor Lawrence's willingness and drive to be great. So these two sides have spent significant time on Zoom meetings in the last few months just to get to know each other. They've talked about football. They've talked about life. They've talked about the playbook. And both are in a really good place, a place of excitement. And Lawrence, in fact, is excited what Coach Urban Meyer will bring trying to maximize players in his first year as an NFL head coach. I spoke to somebody close to Lawrence this weekend. They said, look, the guy's been under a microscope as one of the best players in the country for about five to six years coming out of high school. This is just the way he compartmentalizes and deals with things to find a life balance. But make no mistake about it, Urban Meyer took this job in Jacksonville largely because of Trevor Lawrence. I spoke to an exec this weekend who said, Meyer, if the Jacksonville Jaguars were picking second, he might be coaching the University of Texas right now, making 10 to $12 million a year. He has coveted Lawrence for the last few years, mm -hmm. dating back to watching him in Clemson in the playoffs two years ago. And quick injury update on Lawrence. He had that shoulder surgery on the non-throwing shoulder a couple months ago. I'm told he's already been throwing the ball for a few weeks now. He's still eyeing a training camp return. Keep also in mind the Jags have never had the number one pick in franchise history. That will change in a couple of weeks. I heard that Jeremy had dinner with his family last night. And quite frankly, Ooh. I'm concerned about his commitment to this TV thing. <laughs> you need to work on that. <laughs> Thank you. It's shaky. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.